When it comes to promiscuity, men are players and women are hoes. Lies. Men can be hoes too. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Men can only be players. Only women can be hoes. That is not true. The insinuation is that women inherently lose their value the more they give themselves to illicit sex or promiscuity and men retain their value as if men are not susceptible to their values being lost by giving themselves so cheaply to anyone who can access them. It's the thing about value, right? Usually when things are valuable, it's not as easy to access them. And it's easy to pretty much determine the value of something by how easy you can access it. So if I'm able to be accessed so easily by the simple fact that I was able to exchange a number or that I was cute to somebody, or the fact that they want to try me out, or my body is sexy, or whatever the case may be, then that tells me a lot about myself. Not that I'm a player, not that I'm the man, but that I'm cheap. We have to really start reshaping our mind as it relates to our bodies and them carrying value. Even think about the way that we treat our sons versus our daughters. We tell our daughters, hey, you know, you need to stay in the house and don't wear that and don't wear this. But we tell our sons, have fun because we've literally been brainwashed into thinking that our son's bodies don't have value, that they literally can do what they want, they can smoke what they want, they can eat what they want, they can have sex with what they want, <laughs> and at the end of the day, they retain all of their integrity and dignity, but our daughters can run around, and the moment that they give themselves to a man illicitly, then at that point, then they're no longer worthy. But at the end of the day, as humans, we are made in the image of God. And if we remember that, then as much as the young ladies have to recognize that they have value as they move, they move remembering that if I give myself so cheaply, then I'm saying something about myself in the same way as a man. If you give yourself so easily and so cheaply to anyone who comes your way, then you're diminishing your own value. But recognize that our value doesn't come by what what they said, what they said, what I say, but what God says. And if God says that I'm valuable, then I am here to honor the value that God has established for my life. It means that I recognize what he says and I'm going to walk and my walk is going to reflect that he calls me valuable. I remember there was a time that God said, you need to call yourself expensive. I'm like, what you mean? Like that sounds real conceited. That sounds like, like really egotistical, but he wanted to remind me that I needed to be cautious with the way that I allowed access into my mind, into my spirit, into my soul. It's so easy to think about our bodies when we think about sex because we wanna protect our bodies from diseases, we wanna protect our bodies from these physical experiences, but we never think about protecting our souls. At the end of the day, the body that you so brag about, the body that you claim, the bodies that you boast about are bodies of individuals who carry value. And there are bodies that you're carrying into your future that weigh on your soul. Every time that you devalue someone and you think that you've conquered someone else's body, you've actually been defeated. In 1 Corinthians 12, it reminds us about certain body parts that we have that require more modesty than others. In the same way, we have to recognize that there are parts of our bodies that require more modesty than the others. It's not to say that the other body parts aren't as important, but the body parts that require more modesty, we're attentive to make sure they're covered like on our physical body. But what about the parts of our bodies that are not seen, that require a modesty that God himself gave us? He gave us flesh to cover our internal organs. Why? Why did he not allow internal organs to be external? Because it was necessary that they required a level of security and protection. Our hearts, our lungs, they're not just behind our flesh, but they're behind our ribs. Here's the thing, man. God is saying that there are parts of you that I'm telling you are important, so I'm going to add a layer of protection and covering. I gave you nails, <laughs> I gave you hair, I gave you skin. I'm not saying that they're not valuable, 
but they can be regrown. <laughs> They're there to be maintained. They're there and they have a level of value, but they don't have the same level of value that the heart has, that the lungs have. So I myself establish a layer of security and protection because I want to remind you that it's important. I want, you to, I want to remind you that you can't just grow another one of these. In the same way, you are irreplaceable. You are such a rare and valuable gift. And God himself says, I can't just get another one of you. I can't just find another one of you on the ground or on the street. And so I have designed you to be protected, but I'm entrusting you with that type of protection. Meaning I'm calling you to honor what I call valuable. How do you protect yourself? It means I'm going to be attentive by my access points. I'm not going to give access to my ears, to my minds, to my, to my eyes, things that can corrupt, contaminate, and destroy what God sees as valuable. In the same way, I'm not gonna drink poison to destroy my body. It's the same way, I'm not just gonna sleep with anything. I'm not gonna expose myself to illicit things on, on social media, pornography, things that I know are there to destroy the way I'm supposed to function and the person I'm supposed to be that God has called me to be. Like this is a strong caution and reminder that you're valuable and you are responsible for a layer of security and a guard around your eyes, around your mind, and even for your soul. I'm here to remind you as a man that it is okay for you to recognize that the body that God gave you is worthy to be protected. When you think about celebrities, they're running around with bodyguards. Forget it, you think about the president, they got secret service, they got an armed car. They can't, you won't just find them just standing outside on their local Martin Luther King Street, just like with no secret service, with no protection. Why? Because the government, because the United States has agreed that this individual has value. Thus, we will secure him accordingly. In the same way, if you believe and you agree with God that says you are made in my image, you're beautifully and wonderfully made, then agree with God and bring a level of security in your life. I can't just have every conversation with everyone. I can't just allow people to see every part of my body so easily. So with no discretion. I can't just be sending pics of myself to everyone just so willy-nilly in, in ways that expose me and demean me, man or woman, but especially for the men. It's time to recognize that your body holds value. And when you give yourself cheaply, you're making a bold statement about yourself. Let's tighten up.